in this video we are given these two big numbers and we want to see which number is larger so let's start the solution okay since these numbers are too big to plug in into calculator but it's uh, not difficult to do manually to see which number is larger i'm gonna start with this ratio 5 raised to the power 990 uh, 99 divided by 99 factorial okay so this guy divided by this guy i want to see if the ratio is less than one then this guy is less than this one if the ratio is greater than one then this guy is greater than this one okay so we all we need to check is to see if this ratio is greater than one or less than one and that's our goal is okay so we have 5 raised to the power 99 uh, 5 raised to the power 99 sorry this is 50 okay not 5 so we have 50 raised to the power 99 so um, i can write this guy the numerator as 50 times 50 times uh, 50 times 50 times 50 up to 50 divided by the the numerator is uh, factorial so factorial of any number means product of all the numbers less than or equal to that number so we, you, uh, we will have 99 times 98 up to 51 times 50 times 49 up to 2 and 1 product of all the numbers less than or equal to 99 is the 99 factorial and how about the numerator the numerator is 99 uh, 50 raised to the power 99 so this product is 99 times okay now the way i wrote is uh slight uh, is nice because if you look at here i have uh 99 uh and these this product is 99 times and this guy is 49 times and this product is uh 49 times so 49 plus 49 uh, plus we have one extra factor here so this product is then 99 times okay this is the trick okay now in the next step uh, now we will group uh, these guys okay so let's group this guy with this one so we have 50 times 50 which can be written as 50 square divided by let's group 99 and 1 then we will have 99 times 1 so this is one group similarly the second group is this guy times the 50 before this guy okay so 50 square uh, because these guys are exactly 49 times and these guys are exactly 49 times so for each member here there is exactly one member here divided by let's group this guy and this guy so we will have 98 times to continue like this until we reach this 50 and this 50 so we will have 50 square divided by now this 51 and this 49 right but there is an extra factor this factor over here and this factor over here this number over here and this number over here which can be written as 50 divided by 50. So this is a nice regrouping of the same fraction over there. The advantage of writing in this form is the following. Remember we wanted to see if this guy is greater than 1 or less than 1. That is the only goal for us. So now if you look at here you have 50 times 50 which is way bigger than 99 times 1. So I can say that this uh, ratio is greater than 1. 50 times 50 is way bigger than this guy similarly this ratio is greater than 1 we have 50 times 50 and 98 times 2 and if you look at here this ratio is again greater than 1 because 50 times 50 is greater than 51 times 49 and this ratio is just 1 so I can say that this whole uh, number is whatever the number is if you simplify that will be greater than one that is 
what was the left hand side the left hand side was 50 raised to the power 99 divided by the left uh, then uh, the denominator was denominator was 99 factorial and we have proved that this guy is greater than 1 this is what we have proved right let's multiply with 99 factorial on both sides 99 factorial on both sides then these guys will cancel so it means that 50 raised to the power 99 is greater than 99 factorial so this guy is larger than the other guy